Project Rock, we rock it with that. Project Rebuild, overall and construct. The security force, yeah. we're looking at that. Project Rock, building today for a safer tomorrow. An initiative of the Ministry of National Security. Over the past three years, the government has made major investments in upgrading and introducing a new technology to assist the security forces in carrying out their duties. There is no doubt that these upgrades have been beneficial to the crime fight in Jamaica. The National CCTV Surveillance System, Jamaica Eye, is one of those that has been helping us to nab criminals. The system is designed to increase safety for all. These cameras monitor public spaces across the island and assist the authorities in responding to disasters, acts of criminality and accidents. But how does the JCF really use Jamaica Eye? Head of Technology, Assistant Commissioner Leonardo Brown explains. So Jamaica Eye is really a network of surveillance cameras. It has been very successful in terms of aiding in investigations, heightened situational awareness as officers uh, proceed to a scene, um, certain information can be divulged to them from our command and control center. We have been implementing several technological projects, over 21 projects, some of which include the smart check application, which allows an officer to query information regarding a citizen that they are interacting with. We also rolled out recently uh, body-worn cameras and uh, we intend to expand uh, that rollout as, as well and um, that is just to name a few of the projects that we are rolling out. There are plans afoot to expand Jamaica I uh, into other uh, major uh, towns and uh, what this will do is assist uh, the police and uh, to bring confidence to members of the public in that these places are monitored uh, on a 24-hour basis and will also assist greatly in terms of how officers respond to incidents. The National Surveillance Program would have benefited from substantial investment over the past three years since we were launched in 2018. With that investment, we have been able to do a number of things, first of which we were able to expand our backend capacity to allow for a number of cameras to be added to the network as well as um, increase our computing capabilities. Additionally, we have also integrated the entire surveillance architecture from a central location. All the cameras can be monitored. In that, following an audit in 2018, we changed out all the outdated cameras to one brand. This not only made the entire architecture seem seamless, it also aided us in terms of maintenance and stocking uh, spare parts. We have also increased the number of cameras since launch, moving from 200 to just over 850 to date. With that being said, over the past year, we have added, or each year, we continue to add roughly 200 to 250 cameras to the network. Jamaica Eye would have seen a few successes over the past few months. Coupled with the efforts of the JCF and the investment made thus far, the, we have seen where the technology has been leveraged successfully. We have also moved to train a number of uh, JCF operatives to properly use the system with maximum efficacy. We do want to encourage the citizenry of Jamaica to log on to Jamaica I contribute public facing cameras that will surely help us in this fight against crime. Cameras aren't the only things in focus for the Ministry of National Security as the team continues to innovate for a better Jamaica. This involves the ongoing pilot of the electronic traffic ticketing system. Over the past few years, the Ministry of National Security has expended significant efforts and investment into the improvement of the traffic ticket management system. Upon our reviews and investigation of the system, we came upon several points of failure, which are all tied to the fact that it is primarily a manual paper-based system. As a step towards improving the system, the Ministry of National Security worked with the JCF Technology Branch and EGOV Jamaica to develop a smartphone application that allows for the seamless collection of information 
relevant to the ticketing process. The offender's details, the vehicle registration, etc. And puts that information directly into the officer's hand. By through this application, the officers are able to consult the databases, the vehicle databases, the driver's license databases, etc., and be assured that the information that they are receiving from the offender is actually uh, valid and can be relied upon. The officer, in the process of writing the tickets, will be able to determine whether the person is a person of interest. They will be able to determine whether the vehicle was used previously in committing a crime. They will also be able to know whether it is a stolen vehicle. Also, from the citizen's standpoint, the introduction of an electronic ticketing system offers several benefits for the, the citizen. They will be able to receive tickets via email, should they provide an email address when the officer is issuing the tickets. And they will also be able to pay the ticket immediately online because by using electronic means to capture this data, it will immediately be available in all the relevant databases. Deandra, I hope your vehicle documents are up to date as this is a big step for traffic management in Jamaica. Sean Jay, I'm definitely good in that area. The Institute of Forensic Science and Legal Medicine, IFSLM, is an agency of the Security Ministry and is being upgraded with state-of-the-art equipment used by scientists to solve cases and identify DNA matches. At the forefront of upgrades is a DNA database being partly funded by the Government of Jamaica and the Inter-American Development Bank. It will be complemented by an autopsy suite to foster an increase in the number of autopsies that can be performed. This means less waiting for autopsy reports. There are more technology upgrades to come. In the meantime, the government is taking an all-rounded approach to crime fighting in Jamaica. I'm Inspector Sean J. Mitchell. And I'm Giandra Morrison. Thank you so much for watching this season of Journey with Project Rock, brought to you by the Ministry of National Security. See you in Season 2. An initiative of the Ministry of National Security.